Despite a cold east wind and cloudy skies, the king in morning dress accompanied by the queen leaves Buckingham Palace in an open landau for another Jubilee State Drive. This time, again given a rapturous welcome from cheering and waving crowds, His Majesty undertakes what is perhaps the most intimate and very English ceremony of the Jubilee functions. The King is driving along the Mall here on his way to Westminster Hall, where he is to meet his Parliament, the Lords and Commons assembled to offer the monarch addresses of loyalty and tribute. This drive is impressive by its absence of glamorous military pomp. The Royal Carriage is escorted only by police officer outriders. Through the Horse Guards arch, the procession turns into beflagged and crowded White Hall. A royal gesture, one which is typical of their Majesty's sense of duty. As the Landau approaches the Cenotaph, the horses break their prancing trot to a walking pace. Their Majesties bow low amid the cheering to the immortality of our dead. From a London roof, a Pathé cameraman gets this wonderful picture of the procession as it nears Parliament Square. The King approaches the historic hall under whose old oak rafters England's history has been built up into the constitutional wonder of today. We, Your Majesty's faithful commons, desire to offer our humble congratulations on the completion of 25 years of your reign. I have been blessed in all my work, having, having beside me my dear wife, of whom you have spoken so kindly. I give thanks to Almighty God, who has thus far sustained me and my people, and I pray that we may continue to pursue the cause of freedom and progress in a spirit of peace, tolerance, and understanding. With spontaneous expressions of goodwill from reverend bishops, noble lords, members of parliament and judges still echoing in their hearts as well as their ears, the king and queen drive back home after this ceremony that is without precedent in our island annals. Now their majesties are passing the Victoria Memorial, home once more, another landmark in their lives reached, while surging thousands round the palace never tire of voicing their affectionate devotion. <laughs> 